Scientists from Nanyang Technological University have uncovered the structure of a particular pneumonia virus enzyme. And this could be the key to helping researchers design therapies for viruses that often lead to antibiotic resistant bacterial infections. And to help us understand more about this, we're joined in studio by lead scientist of the study, Dr. Julian Lescar from the NTU School of Biological Sciences. Dr. Lescar, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Gaino. So why did you and your team decide on this particular uh, structure and this particular enzyme? So actually about 12 years ago, my, my group uh, determined the structure of uh, dengue virus polymerase, which is uh, a very important drug target as well. And we went on also to, to work on the Zika polymerase, which is related. Mm -hmm. So we had the, the experience of these uh, type of enzymes. And uh, you know that uh, uh, these uh, viruses causing pneumonia are very important in terms of public health, with about 140,000 uh, uh, children dying every year of, of this disease. And uh, in, in Singapore only, you have about 20% of, of, uh, of the, the causes of death every year due to pneumonia. So it's second only to uh, cancer. So this is why we, we were interested in, uh, in contributing to, to yeah, uh, uh, giving some options to treat these uh, uh, viral infections. Yeah. So Dr. Lesca, you know, I'm hearing this, it sounds a little bit scary. So we know that this enzyme can be found in two specific viruses that cause severe, and you know, as you mentioned, they're life-threatening respiratory diseases. As you mentioned, the pneumonia as well as bronchitis. Question is, what role does this enzyme actually play and how does it do it? Yes. So actually, you can think of these uh, enzymes named polymerase are uh, kind of tiny uh, little photocopy machines. So your genes, uh, uh, Glenda and Steve, and my genes as well, are made of DNA. The, the genes of, uh, this RNA virus, of these viruses are made of RNA. So to, to be uh, transmitted and replicated, they need to be copied by this tiny little photocopy machine, like uh, uh, 3D printers, uh, so to speak. And, uh, and what, uh, w one way to block the replication is actually to block the activity of this enzyme so they cannot no longer replicate the, the viral RNA. And what we did is uh, provide a, a mapping, a very precise uh, uh, image of these viruses. So now you know the target, you know the, how it looks like, so it's very much easier to design uh, a specific uh, molecule to block the activity of these enzymes. And when you say block the activity, you mean the blocking of the photocopying, if you like? Exactly. You, you can no longer run the photocopy machine, so, so the virus can no longer replicate. Yeah. Okay, is this the first uh, time that this sort of way of addressing it or this sort of treatment has been sort of explored? Actually, no. You have a very successful story which has been uh, done on a, a hepatitis C virus, which is another virus uh, for which there was no vaccine. And there's a very uh, successful drug which is now on the market, which is called Sophosbuvir, which is precisely a polymerase inhibitor same type of enzyme. So there is examples of successful therapy uh, using this. And now we are actively en engaged. We have, we have set up a, a startup a company uh, named Epitoire, and, and we are looking actually for uh, uh, people to help us, uh, um, to, 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 to help us in these efforts to uh, design some specific inhibitors uh, targeting these uh, viral enzymes. Yeah. So how far along are you on you know, this trajectory of yours? Yeah, so we, we, we have made some progress, but we, uh, we, we still need, uh, of course, to, to, to do a lot of work, and we are really looking into uh, collaborations with clinicians and uh, venture capitalists to, to help us in this endeavor. And uh, uh, so th this effort has been uh, uh, jointly made with uh, people from MIT, uh, P. Deedon, uh, Richon Fai, and also a very talented team of, of people in, at NTU. And we, 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 we benefit actually from a very good environment at NTU where we have this uh, Institute for Social Biology where we can really uh, do a lot of work uh, in this field, yeah. Okay, and are there other applications that this could also, or the learnings from this, be useful? Yeah, I think so, because uh, if you look, uh, uh, you, you must have heard about uh, 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 viruses which are uh, kind of related, like a measles virus. There's, there's an uh, outbreak, uh, for instance, in the South Pacific Islands. Mm -hmm. There is Ebola. Everybody has heard about Ebola, which is also a very serious health problem. And these viruses all have a similar type of photocopy machines, and, and you could think, actually, of, of developing uh, inhibitors against uh, this series of viruses using the same type of technology, uh, structure-based discovery informed by a, a cryo-electron microscopy, and we have all the resources at NTU in Singapore to, to perform uh, and, and, and do this work and, and do a good contribution to public health, a very important public health uh, issue. So what are we looking at in terms of, you know, trying to stop this virus from photocopying each other, you know, in, 
in terms of, are we administering it you know how, how will it eventually look like in its end piece okay so um, so you're really looking at uh, here you, you have of course the, the vaccine approach which is and the best, but not always practical. But here you're really looking at uh, designing a, a small molecule with as little side effects as possible, which would uh, uh, basically uh, stop uh, the, the replication. And then eventually your immune system will take over to clear the, the virus. So that, that would be uh, one way we, we envision to do that. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much for coming in and speaking to us. And good luck for this. We look forward to this. Thank We've been you. speaking to Dr. Julian Leska from the NTU School of Biological Sciences.